Have you ever pondered what it's like to be in the minority? The small group of people who experience post-vaccination syndrome? Imagine the uncertainty, the confusion, the worry. These are the individuals who, despite their small number, carry a significant weight. They are the ones who have experienced unexpected health challenges after taking a courageous step towards the protection of all. This is the reality of a rare yet deeply impactful condition known as post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome or PCVS. Today, we delve into the world of PCVS. Meet Jane, a 35-year-old health enthusiast from New York City. Jane is a gym owner and a fitness coach who leads an active lifestyle. She's an epitome of health and wellness, always inspiring her clients to reach their full potential. When the COVID-19 vaccines became available, she was among the first in line, eager to protect herself and those around her. After receiving her vaccine, however, Jane began to experience symptoms that she couldn't shake off. She felt a persistent fatigue that clung to her like a second skin. Her once energetic strides turned into labored steps, her muscles ached, and her joints throbbed with pain. Sleep was elusive, and when it came, it didn't bring the usual refreshment. Jane also began to struggle with neurological issues. She would lose her train of thought mid-conversation, forget familiar names, and struggle with tasks that had once been second nature. This was a stark departure from the sharp, quick-thinking fitness coach everyone knew and admired. Jane's life once filled with exercise, laughter, and vitality, was now dominated by doctor's appointments, medical tests, and an unending quest for answers. Despite the changes, she remained hopeful, always searching for ways to cope and adjust to her new normal. But the struggles didn't end there. Jane faced the silent battle of misunderstanding and skepticism. People questioned the legitimacy of her symptoms, attributing them to stress or even imagination. The lack of widespread recognition for PCVS made her journey even more challenging. The reality of Jane's experience with post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome is a sobering one. It's a narrative that emphasizes the need for greater understanding, recognition, and research into this condition. Jane isn't alone in her struggle. There are others like her, facing the same uphill battle. Jane's story is a stark reminder of the individual impacts of a global health crisis. Despite the overall success of the vaccine, we must not forget those who, like Jane, bear the weight of unforeseen consequences. Their stories are a call to action. We must strive for a more comprehensive understanding of PCVS and work towards solutions that ensure no one is left to suffer in silence. The impact of post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome, while limited in scope, is profound. Despite the low prevalence of PCVS in comparison to the staggering number of vaccine doses administered globally, the effect on those grappling with this syndrome is far from insignificant. The symptoms of PCVS, varying from person to person, can dramatically alter the landscape of an individual's life. Debilitating fatigue, for instance, can transform a once vibrant person into a shadow of their former self. Imagine the energy and vitality that once fueled your day-to-day -day activities suddenly dissipating, leaving you struggling to perform even the simplest tasks. Muscle and joint pain, another common symptom, can similarly disrupt a person's daily routine. It's as if your body, once a reliable ally, has turned against you, introducing hurdles where there were none. The activities you once enjoyed or took for granted, such as going for a jog, playing with your kids, or even just climbing a flight of stairs, might now be fraught with discomfort or outright pain. The neurological issues associated with PCVS, such as brain fog and problems with concentration, can be equally disconcerting. Imagine your mind, once clear and sharp, now enveloped in a persistent haze. Simple calculations become Herculean tasks, familiar faces become puzzling enigmas, and your ability to focus, once unwavering, becomes a fleeting luxury. These symptoms not only diminish the quality of life for those affected, but also represent a profound injustice. These individuals stepped forward, participated in a global effort to end a pandemic, and are now left grappling with unexpected health struggles. For those like Jane, the vaccine has been a paradoxical mix of protection and affliction. 
While the vaccine has likely shielded her from the severe impacts of COVID-19, it has also thrust her into a new battle, one against the mysterious symptoms of PCVS. It's a battle fought not in the limelight, but in the quiet corners of everyday life, a battle that underscores the need for increased understanding, research, and support for those affected by post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome. Before we delve further into the need for research, let's take a moment to hear from the individuals who are living with post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome. These are the voices behind the statistics, the stories that breathe life into the numbers. Meet John, a 35-year-old software engineer who was always on the go until PCVS hit. He describes the fatigue as a persistent, debilitating exhaustion that makes even the simplest tasks feel like climbing a mountain. Then there's Lisa, a 50-year-old teacher who used to spend her weekends hiking and gardening. Now she battles joint pain that makes it difficult for her to stand for extended periods, let alone trek up a trail. And remember Jane, who we introduced in our earlier segment? Her ongoing struggle with brain fog has made her work as a financial analyst incredibly challenging. These are just a few of the many stories that highlight the personal toll of PCVS. Each narrative is a reminder of why research into this syndrome is not just necessary, but urgent. If you're finding this content valuable and want to learn more about important topics like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned as we delve into the pressing need for research in the next segment. The mystery of PCVS underscores the desperate need for more research, a stark truth that cannot be ignored. Despite its rarity, the existence of post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome is undeniable, and understanding it has become a paramount concern. The current state of research on PCVS is, in truth, in its infancy. The syndrome is a relatively new phenomenon, emerging in the wake of a global vaccination campaign of unprecedented scale. However, the scientific community has begun to mobilize, with initial studies aiming to characterize the nature and scope of PCVS. Yet, these are tentative first steps, and we're still at the foot of a mountain. Greater funding is a necessity. To fully explore this complex syndrome, we require vast resources, from lab equipment to research personnel. Expansive, long-term studies must be conducted to track the onset, progression, and resolution of symptoms. It's crucial to identify any patterns that might help predict who is at risk and why. This endeavor is not just about understanding PCVs. It's about ensuring that every individual who steps forward to receive a vaccine can do so with confidence. And the benefits of understanding PCVS better are manifold. First, it could lead to the development of targeted interventions, therapies designed to alleviate symptoms and improve quality of life for those affected. Second, it could inform vaccine design and administration, potentially preventing the syndrome from occurring in the first place. Ultimately, it could restore faith in vaccination campaigns, reinforcing their role as our primary defense against infectious diseases. The journey to unravel the mysteries of PCVS is undoubtedly challenging. It will require dedication, perseverance, and a spirit of scientific inquiry. But the potential rewards are immense. It's about standing up for those who found themselves in this predicament, acknowledging their struggle and striving to ensure that their experience is not in vain. The exploration of PCVS is not just a scientific quest, it is a demonstration of our commitment to health equity, to ensuring that the benefits of medical advances are shared by all. It's about recognizing that even the rarest of side effects matter and that every individual's health and well-being are worth fighting for. Unraveling the enigma of PCVS is a crucial step in our continued fight against COVID-19. It's a call to arms, a call to continue pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and a call to ensure that no one is left behind in our collective journey towards a healthier, safer world. As we celebrate the triumph of vaccines, let us not forget those who bear the burden of adverse outcomes. In the vast ocean of victory against the pandemic, there are islands of individuals grappling with the aftermath of their inoculation. These individuals, those affected by post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome, are a testament to the complex interplay between science health, and humanity. Their experiences remind us that while we've come far in our fight against COVID-19, there are still battles to be won. 
Recognizing the existence of PCVS is the first step towards understanding and managing it. It's not about casting doubt on the effectiveness of vaccines or instilling fear. Instead, it's about acknowledging that even the most successful medical interventions can have unexpected outcomes. It's about accepting that there's still much to learn. Support for those affected by PCVS is paramount. They are not just numbers or statistics, they are people. People who stepped up to protect themselves and their communities only to find themselves facing an unforeseen health challenge. The support they need comes in many forms, from medical care to social understanding, from acknowledgement of their struggles to research into their condition. The importance of further research into PCVS cannot be overstated. The questions are many. Why does it occur? Who is at risk? How can it be treated or prevented? The answers to these queries hold the key not just to helping those currently affected, but also to ensuring the continued success and safety of vaccination efforts worldwide. So let us not rest on our laurels. Let us remember those for whom vaccination has been a double-edged sword. Let us advocate for them, for more research, for better support systems, and for a broader awareness of their experiences. They have taken part in our collective effort to end the pandemic. Now it's our turn to stand with them. Let's ensure our approach to public health is as compassionate as it is scientific. Everyone deserves to benefit from medical advances without undue suffering.